We are Ham Radio. Welcome back, everybody. It's Freddie Mac, your Ham Radio Crusader, and I've got a good one today. At least I think it's a good one. It's really kind of simplistic, but it's something I've wanted for a while now. Ever since I made my transition from Ham VoIP over to ASL3 with my home node, I kind of missed something. I mean, I didn't miss it as in I forgot it. I missed it as in I missed it. Uh, the hourly time announcement with the weather conditions at the top of every hour. Now, with the help of the guys at ASL3, they did get us back to a hourly top of the hour announcement, which was great. Don't get me wrong. I like that little cue in my life. But, you know, they had bigger fish to fry getting ASL3 ready. And, you know, they're still working out a few bugs. It's nothing major, but they've got to get it right and they're out there to make it right. So I took it upon myself to start researching the files in Hamvoip and see if I could make them work in ASL3. And I probably could have done this a lot sooner. I've just been super busy, but I had just a smidge of time and I got it. With the help of ChatGPT and Joe Urban. Joe's not a ham yet, but I'm working on him. His dad and his brother are hams and I'm roping him in just a little bit. He's a great guy and he's a Linux genius. He got me over the edge. I had everything working. I had the top of the hour announcement working and it would give the temperature, but I couldn't get it to give the weather conditions. It turns out I had to install basic calculator and change the locate program that it used and everything just kind of fell together. So, wow. So, Let's jump into it, shall we? <laughs> Here we go. Okay, everybody, this is the process. This is the steps that we take to finally get our hourly announcement and weather conditions at the top of every hour. Now, we were able to get the top of the hour time announcement, but you know, those of us who were ham VoIP users that are now ASL3 users really kind of missed that weather condition announcement after the time at the top of every hour. So I did a lot of digging. I did a lot of research. I even consulted chat GPT. So here's what we got to do. First thing we're going to do is FileZilla. or WinSCP into our node. And we're going to create that connection. And I like to get down here to, to my root and let's consult the show notes. The first thing that we need to do is install basic calculator because for some reason it's not on there. So we need to go to the terminal instead of FileZilla first of all. So what we're going to do is we're going to sudo apt install bc. sudo apt install bc basic calculator and it looks like I've already put it in there <laughs> you'll see a little bit more than this if yours isn't installed and I don't believe that it is because I think I've already taken steps on this node to do that very thing so the next thing we need to go do is create a subfolder under Etsy asterisk and we can do this from the terminal so let's go CD Etsy asterisk and we're in that directory and we're gonna go sudo make directory local mine already exists because I have some files in there already. That's where I keep all my script files. The next thing we want to do after you make that directory is copy all these sound files that it's going to be in the download and the download link will be in the description of this video. But we need to drill down to var lib asterisk and sound. So I go into FileZilla var v a r lib l i b asterisk sounds and you'll see these two folders, custom and I guess that means English, I don't know, but here is the the folder I have. You don't want to grab the folder that says sounds, you want to go to the next one under it and grab all of these. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten subdirectories and a passel of GSM files. They're all sound files. So let's grab them all and drag them over and let's let them copy. This will take just a little bit. It's about 1,365 files. Yeah, there's about 1,365 files. Do you need them all? No, you probably don't. What I did is I just copied these from one of my ham VoIP installs. And you know what? You never know what you're going to need till you need it. So I just thought I'm grabbing them all. All right, now that we've got them all, move to the right folder. I'm going to go back here to the root. And then it says copy these files, the saytime.pl and the weather.sh over to user local sbin. So let's go to user local sbin. And we're going to grab, let's go back here to this file. 
we're going to grab saytime.pl and weather.sh. Drag them over here. Back to the document. We need to make those two files executable. So let's, so we can jump to the terminal. We can go cd user local sbin do an lsl and we can see it's saytime.pl and weather.sh are in white which means they are not currently executable and there's no x in their attributes here so let's do this sudo chmod plus small x saytime.pl hit enter we'll do the same thing but we'll change the file name to weather.sh and then we can do an ls-l again and see that saytime.pl is now executable and weather.sh is now executable. So back to the document. We need to copy the weather.ini file into etsy asterisk local. That's why we created that directory earlier. So let's go back to Etsy asterisk and local and we'll grab that weather.ini file and throw it in there. Now I don't know that we absolutely need to do this. I know we need to have root privileges when we do it so it's just easier for me if we go into sudo sue. So let's go let's go back to the root do a sudo sue puts us into the root. Let's clear the screen and get back up to the top. And part of the problem with the install for some reason, I don't know if this is for every install, but this is my third one and locate doesn't seem to work right on any of them. So we're going to install plocate. It's another app that helps you locate files. So let's paste that in there. We're going to do apt install plocate and we're going to hit yes because we do want to install it and we'll let that finish. We've got that installed. So now we want to remove locate. So we're going to remove user bin locate. That's done. Okay, this file here, this line rather, is going to create a symbolic link from plocate to locate. Will help us get, well, this will help us achieve our goal. Hit enter there, and that's done. And then we want to update db. So we want to go back to the command line and type in update db, update the database, and give that a second to finish. Now that's done. Okay, I think we are actually ready to test and see if this is working. And we're doing this cold on this node anyway. To test it, I use this line here. Let's clear this out. So Perl and to the folder user local sbin where saytime.pl is and you want to put in a space and then your zip code and then your node number. And let's check the volume on our radio. All right, let's see if it works. Morning. The time is 11.53 a.m. Weather conditions. Sunny temperature, 79 degrees. And just like that, we've got our top of the hour announcement and our weather conditions back again. So, how do we make this fire every hour? Well, let's just go to the cron tab and find out. Okay, as you can see, I'm in the root cron tab, and you can see right here I have commented out the say time. Uh, bash shell file that I had created so we're gonna put in a new one okay now as you can see in here I have pasted in this line and I've changed some of the parameters from 00, zero space to 07 dash 21 and then three asterisks with a space in between each one that means this will only fire this sound announcement this time announcement with weather with weather condition announcement will only go from 7 a.m. until 9 p.m. And then after that, it stays silent again until 7 a.m. the next morning. Make sure all the way down in this line, just past saytime.pl, there's a space and then there's your zip code that you want this to cover. And then another space and the node number that you are using this on. 
minus 58176. Your may, yours may have six digits. Yours may have four digits. I don't know. Just make sure there's a space on either side. Then the right arrow, space, dev, null, and make sure everything is in parentheses. This allows three things to run and all that good stuff. Now, user bin nice, minus 19 just changes its priority in the pecking order. So if somebody is talking, when it's time to fire off the file, it holds it in queue, puts it down as the lowest priority. And when that transmission's done, if it hasn't taken too long, then the time announcement will hit along with the weather conditions. So there you have it, folks. We got it back. So how cool is that, right? Oh man, I tell you what, it's the little things in life that kind of keep you at peace, I would think. Well, made this just for you folks, all you all star Link users out there, especially you new ASL3 users like myself. We're constantly learning and we're constantly having fun. And thank you to the all star Link team that makes it even better every day. Thank you guys. Appreciate everything you do. Well, folks, this is Freddie Mac, your ham radio crusader saying 73s, wishing all the good signals to be yours, and ham on, y'all.